Stay tuned for this episode of Gilligan's Engine. Yeah, now unfortunately the head is uh, well and truly stuck on the engine. Um, it is seized on all of the studs that run through the aluminum. So the steel studs run through the aluminum and all the corrosion just seizes in here all the whole length. And I have tried to get it off in more conventional me methods, you know, turning the engine upside down and hammering on it, but it has not worked. So I have taken to building a, uh, a head removal tool specifically for this engine. And here it is over here. I'll show you some of the uh, construction methods. So basically, this was not invented by me. This is like a well-known technique. You take spark plugs, you knock all the porcelain out by cutting them right about here and then knocking the porcelain back. And then you get some bolts, some big, preferably high tensile bolts, which I believe these are. These are actually, um, I found these at the side of the road and put them in, put them in my metal pile. These are <laughs> bolts that hold the arm code together uh, you know, crash barriers that you see at the side of the road. And I found a whole bunch of them and I collected them and I saved them years ago. And now I'm glad I did because these are 5 8 and they fit right into the opening of the spark plug hole without any modification. And, and you have to weld those on. So this threads into the spark plug holes and this shaft, threaded rod now, it's no longer a bolt, goes through a plate that you put on top of the engine and it the plate catches the tops of the head studs so as you turn the nut on top of the plate it creates a compression force which effectively pulls the it pulls up on the spark plug holes so you're putting a lot of force upwards on the spark plug holes which could potentially rip out the threads, maybe, uh, but then you can just install a helicoil. And you know what other option do you have? You gotta, you gotta pull it off somehow, and this is like the best option. And I have to report that it has actually worked. Uh, I have already put this on. I've tightened the the nuts down, and it put up quite a fight. You can actually maybe make out that I've it's already cracked up an eighth of an inch. Uh, evenly and so you can understand more how this works so the two studs are threaded into the spark plug holes and then this piece goes on like that and it's hitting the you know it's contacting the studs just barely of the uh, head and then you put some big ass washers on and you thread the nuts on and then you can see that as you thread this down this nut down and it creates a lot of force it will pull up on the head and push against this against these studs and you can see that I won't be able to move it very much with this setup. But as I progressively move up, I can just lift this up and put spacers under here. Or I'm actually planning to weld some longer, uh, like round pieces on these sides for each stud. Here you can see as I begin to tighten the nuts, the head is rising up quite nicely and evenly. However, what is about to happen is the threads of the head studs, which are slightly larger than the studs themselves, begin to enter the holes of the aluminum head. And all, with all the corrosion in there, it becomes increasingly difficult to ra raise the head. And at some point, it just stopped coming up. And one of the studs at the front became incredibly stuck and the plate just started bending and I wasn't able to raise it anymore. But in principle, this process would um, lift the entire head off if it wasn't quite so corroded. 
It's when you believe the battle is over that you need to be most cautious because I thought I had things going well and they were. But now it is really truly stuck on this one stud in the front and I'm trying to lift it very evenly. I've tried a lot of different methods. But uh, as is so often the case, just when you think you have success in your hand, it slips away. And I flipped the engine over and what I'm doing is I am soaking this head stud with oil from the bottom side. So in a way I'm soaking the enemy in oil. And you can sort of see the stud right there that's giving all the problems. Another interesting thing is all of these crystals which are hardened antifreeze. It has actually turned solid over the decades. I mean these are just not completely solid but like a semi-solid mass. And if that doesn't motivate you to change your antifreeze, I'm not sure what will. Once I got the head high enough, and it really wouldn't go anymore with any other method, I'm putting a bolt and a nut, 3 8 fine thread, and starting with the very shortest bolt that I have, underneath the stuck stud, in between the head and the block, and then, I, and also a piece of aluminum to protect the head, and then unspinning the nut, so creating an expansion force. So it's a very similar method that I've been using at the top in reverse, and it seems to be the only thing that, that can move this head, and it's very nice because I can precisely put the force right under that stud, whereas on top you're, you're pushing against all the studs, and what happens is it tends to cock the head uh, as you're lifting it, even though I'm only lifting it at the front with this force the rear of the head actually comes up if I try to lift the front because it's not because it's not pressing on the studs equally yeah, and this method is just painfully slow but the fact that it's working is really giving me hope keep measuring and I see oh yeah it's moved up a half a millimeter wonderful here you can see the aluminum uh, plate that I'm using and the battle continues excruciatingly slow wiggling, prying, uh, with this long pry bar. And of course I've got protection on the underside of the block. And I've gotten a little bit smarter about things. I've welded a couple of really tall nuts together so I get a little more range out of each, um, each bolt. Because every time I do this a bolt dies. And in this battle there, there have been casualties and here they are. Uh, three Three or four? Four. Four casualties. Alright, I've uh, flipped the engine over and set up two much larger uh, bolts, one on each side in the front where it's stuck, to get a more even press on the head. And also this has allowed me to really soak these with oil and I've used all kinds of different solvents to try to dissolve whatever is in there uh, holding it. So this seems to be actually working. So uh, every turn of the bolt I get one millimeter. I, I don't know if this is useful, but it's quite fun while I'm taking a break. I uh, put a bunch of lacquer thinner into the hole and then light it on fire. And um, I have a little uh, barbecue here while I'm uh, resting. And it seems like since I've been doing this, it, it, it is moving a bit easier. So the lacquer thinner is getting down the hole and, if nothing else, sort of soaking into the... Put some more there. There we go. And we got a good barbecue. Oh, that's nice. And here we can see what it's actually been causing the problem. This is the only bolt that has this. As it comes out, there is this uh, sleeve of white, brownish white, 
corrosion in it. I believe it's the same stuff as the antifreeze, so it's possible that antifreeze has gotten in here and corroded up the aluminum. But it's uh, it's just a complete sleeve right around the bolt. Okay, we are on the home stretch here. The head has pretty much given up the uh, fight. So I want to capture this thing coming off on video. It's moving very easily now compared to before. So I know I said when you have success in hand you need to be most careful. So I'm trying to anticipate any problems. Torture is over.